right? And uh, so Shobha is coming from, you know, working in the section of logistics and supply chain management. You know, she's really, you know, a woman in leadership, I would say, because today she's excelling in her career, in her business, creating turnovers, which are massive. She's skilled in a lot of skill sets. When she joined our community, she came with a very simple hope that Gopika, I just want to become a little more free flowing and fluent speaker. But, you know, it's all really about the confidence that we really carry deep within our heart. And that's all that we needed to tap into. And you'll all see that for yourself as well. So I'm going to invite Shobha Varma, you know, here in the room and over to you, Shobha, from here. Thank you so much, Gopika, for inviting me and for giving me the opportunity to share my life, my thoughts on this platform. First of all, I want to congratulate each one of us on this International Women's Day. And not only on this day, but each day of your life and each moment of your life. I feel that women should not be respected only because of their gender. They should be respect for their own identity. Each and every woman is different and they are special, whether it's a daughter, mother, working woman or uh, homemakers. Everybody has own special things in them. And I feel that we women are the creators of the society. We are the pillars of the society. So I feel that we should be self-confident. We should be empowered. We should be we must be educated enough to educate our kids. We are the first gurus of our kids. So that's the way we are creating the society. I don't know uh, whether my story will inspire you or, or not, but I feel proud of myself that I came from a very, very orthodox family. I belong to a Rajasthani family. I got married in the age of 17 when I was in school. and. Uh, you know why I got married in such an early age? Because my father was not there. My father passed away when I was seven. So I was considered as a responsibility in the family. So ne responsibility samaj karge nipta diya jaldi age mein. And I'm coming from the background where we had no money, no proper education. I studied in the municipal school and I had a very low self-confidence. But I did not give up. When I came to Mumbai, everybody says, Ki, now why you want to study more? Achhi bhali family mili hai. You are in a wealthy rich family. So why you want to study? Job karna hai, nokri karni hai kahi ke. So, but I want to study and luckily my in-laws supported me and they said that if you want to study more, you can study. So that way I, I did my graduation, I did hospital management, I did import-export diploma. I had given some examinations for the customs. And I want to share one small story from my life that how one lady given me such a support that whatever I am today, I owe everything to her. When my father-in-law passed away on that day, uh, when his uh, last rites were performing, we were performing his last rites and uh, at that moment, I came to know that uh, my custom exams uh, interviews will be in the next two days. There were 5,000 people around us. We were in our native uh, in Rajasthan. At that moment, I did not have courage to go to anybody and tell that I want to do this. This is my last chance to give my exam. And my mother-in-law came to me and she said that you can't give up. You should go. She said those words on the day she lost her husband and that time my heart filled with immense respect for her this she's not educated enough she is just fourth or fifth past lady but the way of thinking she's truly a modern woman she supported me a lot and since last 30 years uh, we are living like a mother daughter my husband says, why don't you do this? I'm tired of you, I'm tired of you, but you don't do this. So, I want to share one small story from my life. 
I feel that whatever I am today, I'm running, I, I did, uh, I completed uh, my custom examinations. Uh, right now I'm running a company. Yes, that is my turnover is more than 15 crores. Uh, I'm vice president of Mumbai June Custom Broker Association. I, I'm founder of Lal India app. That is uh, that app, uh, which is serving for uh, live blood donors. Whatever I have done, I have done with the support of that lady. My mom, my mother-in-law, there are two ladies. I owe everything to them. And uh, in my industry, still it is considered as a male-dominating industry. There are only 15 or 16 ladies actually working in the field. Very few. So I want the another woman to come come up and join this industry. If any support is required, I'm ready to give that support. And with this, I, uh, I request everybody in this room that be the support of each other. Be the power. And right now, I'm in the power. I can, whatever the opportunities I missed uh, in my childhood, I right now, I'm in the a position that I can feed myself, I can give, if I want to do uh, anything, uh, if I want to go for any course, I want to spend on my learnings, I can do it myself. If I, today I want to join some course with 10 lakhs rupees, I can do it without asking anybody. So be the power, be the support of each other and happy Women's Day to everyone. Thank you. Beautiful. Can we have a big round of applause for Shobha Verma, please? A quick APP if you can't find the right uh, symbol to use. So that was absolutely amazing, Shobha. I think I'm extremely, extremely happy to hear about the relationship that you shared about, uh, you know, with your mother-in-law. And I think that's so special truly treasure it because that's not something that we get to hear on a daily basis and um, you know that truly inspires me because you're you know you're like a working woman and you're getting so much of family support that in itself really means everything so that was a big way coming in from Shobha who's you know handling a big business getting support from women from power women like you in the room and I can tell you men here in the room if for any reason you're getting sidelined I want to highlight you're always the support system and we're always being able to continue in our dreams towards our dreams and towards the direction that we want to work because you're always there 